hold your breath. The Hubble Space Telescope has unveiled a mind-blowing discovery right in our cosmic backyard. Astronomers are buzzing with excitement as they reveal evidence of a rare gem, a black hole unlike any other. This isn't your run-of-the-mill black hole. It's an intermediate mass black hole, a cosmic rarity that has kept scientists on their toes. And get this, it's lurking a mere 6,000 light years away, nestled within a vibrant globular star cluster. The Hubble telescope has opened a door to the wonders of our universe. Get ready to expand your cosmic horizons and venture into the extraordinary. As always, we start at the edge of the universe. Yes, I know the James Webb Space Telescope and its discoveries are causing quite a stir, and we are all quite excited to see what it discovers in the coming days. However, let's not forget that there wouldn't be a Webb without a Hubble. While Webb is searching for the early universe, Hubble is currently scouring our galaxy in search of a very specific form of black hole. And it looks like it has found one very, very close to the Earth. Astronomers using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope have come up with what they say is some of their best evidence yet for the presence of a rare class of intermediate-sized black hole that may be lurking in the heart of the closest globular star cluster to Earth, which is located only 6,000 light-years away. And, before we jump to conclusions, what exactly are intermediate-sized black holes? Almost all black holes appear to come into sizes similar to tremendous gravitational craters in the fabric of space. Small and gargantuan, dubbed supermassive black holes. It's estimated that our galaxy is littered with 100 million small black holes created from exploded stars. These black holes would beat twice to several times the mass of our sun. On the other hand, the universe at large is flooded with supermassive black holes weighing millions or billions of times our sun's mass, and found in the centers of galaxies. Now, for the longest time, scientists have theoretically known the existence of a third kind of black holes, which are medium-sized, compared to the other two extremes. These are estimated to weigh between 100 and 100,000 solar masses. These and other intermediate mass black hole observations remain inconclusive, and do not rule out alternate hypotheses for a variety of reasons, including the need for further data. But, due to Hubble, it appears that we have finally hit a home run. Hubble's unique capabilities have now been utilized to focus in on the core of the globular star cluster, Messier 4, aka M4, 
allowing for more precise black hole searching than ever before. The team believes the black hole in M4 might be 800 times the mass of our Sun and is on its path to becoming a supermassive black hole. But what if it's something else? Hubble's observations, on the other hand, appear to rule out alternate explanations for this phenomenon, such as neutron stars or smaller black holes circling around each other. Eduardo Vitrell of the Space Telescope Science spoke about the finding, saying, while we cannot completely affirm that it is a central point of gravity, we can show that it is very small. It's too tiny for us to be able to explain other than it being a single black hole. Alternatively, there might be a stellar mechanism we simply don't know about, at least within current physics. Wow, Hubble appears to be joining Webb in his search for cosmic mysteries that we cannot fully fathom or explain. Yes, the James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled ability to peer deep into space, has uncovered a mind-boggling revelation. Scientists have discovered what they believe to be the oldest known black hole in the universe, owing to the telescope's ultra-powerful sensors that captured this elusive entity. This supermassive black hole, which dwarfs our Sun by a factor of 10 million, lived at the center of a galaxy 570 million years after the universe's birth, a time so distant that it's difficult to comprehend. To put this in context, the cosmos is thought to be 13.7 billion years old. What is strange here is that, not only are we discovering ancient galaxies that contradict the Dark Ages according to the standard models of cosmology, we are also discovering these massive black holes that are painting a very different picture of the early universe. What is going on? Observations collected through the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed an active supermassive black hole 10 million times the mass of the Sun, one that is actively growing as it slurps up matter from the space around it. This is the earliest developing supermassive black hole observed so far, 570 million years after the Big Bang. However, scientists hope it won't retain the record for long. The black hole was discovered inside one of the first galaxies discovered, previously known as EGS Y8P7, but now renamed Sears underscore 1019. Its discovery could help solve one of the early universe's most perplexing mysteries. How the black holes in the cosmic dawn grew to such massive masses in such a short period of time. We found the most distant active galactic nucleus, AGN, and the most distant, earliest black hole we've ever found, said an astrophysicist associated with the finding. Scientists were initially looking at Sears underscore 1019 as part of their work investigating light produced by star formation in the very early universe. This light, known as liminal alpha emission, is considered to be produced by star formation activity ionizing neutral hydrogen. The early universe was filled with a fog of neutral hydrogen, which prevented light from propagating. Light could only flow freely after this hydrogen was ionized. This so-called epoch of reionization is not entirely understood. We know it happened in the first billion years following the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago, but seeing so far back in time is extremely difficult. Because they are relatively bright, Sears underscore 1019 and a few other super early galaxies are suitable targets for this research. The galaxy was discovered in Hubble data in 2015, and it was the earliest and most distant galaxy discovered at the time. Subsequent observations confirmed its existence, but more detailed information remained elusive. The earliest light in the universe has shifted so far into the infrared part of the spectrum due to the universe's expansion that probing them requires a powerful, dedicated infrared instrument like JWST. When JWST arrived, Sears underscore 1019, the brightest of the Hubble galaxies from this era, was an obvious target. The telescope spent only one hour staring at the galaxy with all four of its instruments, yet it returned a plethora of data. In the moment I was kind of like, 
Wow, look at everything we can see with JWST. We've seen this whole portion of the spectrum of this galaxy and any galaxies early on in the universe we've never seen before, said astrophysicist Rebecca Lawson. I was just overwhelmed by the amount of information. But then she spotted something she hadn't expected to see. Aside from the brightness of star formation, there was a broad emission feature typical of AGN. Things started to get intriguing when she reported it to several AGN researchers. In the early universe, a galaxy will typically emit either light from an AGN or light from star formation. It was quite unexpected to see both in the same galaxy. There is some impact that the black hole is having on the emission lines that we are seeing. But most of the light we see in our images is still dominated by the star-forming part of the galaxy. It is not as unexpected as you might believe that a supermassive black hole existed more than 13.2 billion years ago and was observed to expand. In the early universe, much larger black holes were discovered. Scientists are still puzzled as to how the black holes in those galaxies became so enormous so early in the universe. Looks like the early universe is quite bizarre and we have but only touched the surface. So, would you like to travel to the other side of the universe or stick with us here at the edge of the universe until we meet again?